I like this enough that I would probably buy it again for $5.49. Let's just put it out there. Let's be honest with ourselves here. At the grocery store with $5.49, there's way worse things you can get than this bottle of wine. It doesn't suck. For $5.49, it's pretty good. Hey there, everyone. Welcome to It's Just Grapes, the wine show dedicated to opening up the world of wine to regular folks just like you, using wine you can get pretty much anywhere across the country. I'm Kyle, I'm your host, and today I have brought with me kind of the epitome of what this show is designed around. Cheap grocery store wine that you can get anywhere. So I have bought Woodbridge by Robert Mondavi, Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet. If you have to order this at a restaurant, just say Cabernet. Uh, California, 2018. Reason I say that's this is what epitomizes the show is because uh, this was five dollars and like five dollars and forty nine cents. It's a Cabernet. This is something I could see a lot of people buying at the store um, and not having a clue what they're actually getting. So as you can see, I actually opened this a couple hours ago. Sorry, no dramatic opening for you guys to see. Uh, I had this with dinner. Now, I fully expected to dislike this wine. I have to be honest with you guys. I really wanted to hate this wine. I wanted to shoot this episode knowing in my head I wasn't going to like this. It's a $5 cheap Cabernet that I got on the bottom shelf at a grocery store. It's very generic, California, and this was supposed to be like the first, oh, he's sassy, he's different, he does hate things and have opinions. It doesn't suck. It's pretty, for $5.49, it's pretty good. So I've mentioned before I'm not a big Cabernet fan, especially red California Cabernets, because they're so strong, they're so kind of definitive on what they taste like. Very bold, very powerful. They vary a lot between bottle to bottle. So you might buy a Cabernet you like. Next week you try a different brand and it tastes way different. I like this, like, like, I like this enough that I would probably buy it again for $5.49. So you gotta weigh out your options here. So this wine isn't super smooth. It's not super floral. It doesn't have a, a very aromatic, pleasant taste. It, it's got a bite, but it's $5.49. You gotta weigh our options here. Um, let's read the label while we're killing some time here. Oh, this is like a history lesson. In 1979, Robert Mondavi founded Woodbridge Winery near his childhood home of Lodi, California to craft fine wines for everyday enjoyment. Our Cabernet Sauvignon displays aromas and flavors of blackberry dark cherry with hints of toast and spice. And then there's a quote, wine to me is a passion, it's family and friends, it's warmth of heart and generosity of spirit, Robert Mondavi. Uh, let's see, is there alcohol content here? Why am I not seeing the alcohol content? There's no alcohol content given. I didn't know you could actually have alcohol or sell alcohol without a alcohol content listed. So this could be like 80% alcohol. It's not. It's probably like between 12 and 14, 15. Anyway, go to woodbridgewines.com. I'm sure they will tell you on there. Uh, let's take another drink. So it is pretty easy to drink. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily slam this. You can see kind of what I've drank tonight. Um, the line was here, obviously the bottle is full. So I've had a decent amount, but I did have it while I was eating. So it's a little bit different. This would not be something I would drink just to enjoy alcohol or uh, sit around a, at a party or a, a campfire. I would not choose this. So I am drinking, by the way, the wine swirly gimmick like I'm doing here. Give it a try. You look really cool and professional when you know how to do this and don't spill. You will spill. Uh, anyway, I'm drinking this at kind of just the ambient temperature in my basement, or as I like to call it on the show, my cellar. 
which is between 60 and like 65 degrees. So keep that in mind. If you're going to be drinking outside, you might want to maybe have this colder than you intend on drinking it, just knowing that it's going to warm up. And then same thing goes if you're going to like have this on the table around like hot food, it's going to warm up as well. Let's discuss the, uh, the summary for last week's episode, which was the 2019 Dark Horse Rosé. As you can see, it did not last long. The title screen for that was correct. You need to buy two of these. You need to go to the store. Don't buy one. You need to buy two because you're going to drink the first one fast and then you're not going to have one when you really want. So again, still highly recommend Dark Horse Rosé. Exceptional wine. Highly re Probably, I'm going to go on a limb and say as of the first five episodes we've done here on It's Just Grapes, this is my highest recommended wine thus far. Boom. Dark Horse Rosé. So, I think the only thing left for this episode is to revisit this wine in a week. We're going to see how this sits for a couple days, then re-drink it. I have a feeling that throughout the week this is going to go downhill a bit. But then again, I went into this show thinking that I was going to be putting this on blast, and I did not. So, Robert Mondavi, I don't know what you're doing at Woodbridge. All right, listen, listen. Robert, I need to know. How are you making money off this? Are you just selling a billion of these? How are you? How? It's five forty nine. dollars You mean to tell me you have an entire vineyard? You're doing farming for a year. Or a whole year, a season. You're employing people to keep the winery open. You have people working in marketing. You have people working in the warehouses. You have people picking these grapes. Fermenting these grapes. Bottling this, putting labels on, putting a cork in. By the way, this had a cork. Shipping these, losing some for weather in shipping, damage, theft. They're sitting on stores, shelves, for $5.49, and you're making money? And it's from California. It's not like this is coming in overseas. We're making this here. $5.49. Robert Mondavi, Woodbridge, Cabernet Sauvignon, California, 2018. Recommended. It's just grapes. So again, I ask you guys, please subscribe if you like what you saw here today. Also, please give us a thumbs up. And I want you guys to comment. I need to hear what you guys want me to drink. What grapes, what years, what wineries, what regions. Uh, all that stuff helps me out. Uh, otherwise, I'm just going to try to pick crazy stuff or stuff that I think would be bad and it was actually good. Uh, again, we'll let you guys go. Thanks for tuning in to It's Just Grapes. We'll see you in the next episode. I can't believe it's good.